Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how we can create a pyramid-like pattern using Python programming language. Now, to create a pyramid-like pattern, you need to first understand the logic behind this. Now, if you see, right, we've got like around about nine spaces and then we got one star. Then we got eight spaces, then we got three stars. Then we got like seven spaces, then we got five stars, and then we got like around about six spaces, then seven stars and then last five spaces and then we got nine stars now this is the logic so we want to print the spaces as well as we want to print this character star now to do this we are going to i'm going to show you how you can write the python program now first of all you go on to file menu and then click on create new file when you create new file you will be taken onto this untitled window and here you will be typing your program. Now, I've got two things here. One, I want to print the spaces and then also I want to print the stars. Now, as I showed you right in my program that I've got like nine spaces here on the first line. So my first line of code will be, I'm going to use a variable. So any variable, for example, j, j equals to nine. And this I'm using for the spaces. So if you want, you can comment it using hashtag so that you know uh, variable used for printing spaces. Okay, right. Now, then I want my for loop. Now, if you see the pattern here again, if you see the pattern, I have like one star, then I've got three, and then I've got five and seven and nine. So you can quickly work out that I'm using all odd numbers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a for loop, okay? That starts from one. So for i in range, one, that's my one start the first time. And then I want it to go all the way up to nine. So I'm going to use 10. As you know, that it will just stop at nine. And then I want the value to increment by two every time because I want one. And then I want to skip two and I want three. So I'm going to value to be increased uh, by two, sorry. And then that's my for loop. And then here I want to print. Now, the trick here is I want to first print the spaces. So I'm going to go print. And then I'm going to write print space. So for the space, I'm going to use the space character. So that's space. And then I want nine spaces to be print first time, but I know that, you know, nine is stored in J variable. So I'm going to use space times J. And then I want to print the star with it. So I'm going to write plus sign. And I want to print first time, I want to print one star. So, and the value will be incremented automatically. So I'm going to write I times star. So <clears throat> you could see like the value of i first time will be one, so it's gonna print one star. The second time the value will be three, it's gonna print three stars. Now, if I don't change the value of j, it's always gonna be nine spaces, but we want the value to be decremented by one every time. So we're gonna write j equals to j minus one, okay? Now that's the logic. So what we are doing, we are printing nine spaces First time, then it's going to be eight spaces, then seven, then six, then five, then four, so on and so forth. And with this one, we've got this for loop for, I'm just going to write a hashtag comment, for loop used for printing stars. Right. So for the first time, it's going to print one star, then three stars, then five, and then finally it's going to print uh, seven and nine. Okay, so to run this, you go onto the run menu and then you press uh, select this. So now you can see, right, this is my file. So one star, three, five, seven, and nine. I hope you found this video very useful. For more such videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.